crispy pork belly tacos on a steam bao bun with pickled vegetables and spicy cilantro mayo. This recipe is to die for. Let's make it, shall we? Welcome to my workshop. So this is one of my favorite recipes of all time. It's a lot of fun to make and sometimes my kids join in on the fun. Let's begin with a pork belly. Let's start seasoning and getting the pork belly ready. Like always, we're gonna rinse and dry our pork belly. Then we're gonna prick a lot of holes into the skin only. If you don't have anything that you can do these holes with, small little holes, you can also score the skin. Then we're gonna salt the skin heavily and place it in the refrigerator from two hours all the way to the next day. We're gonna pull it out of the refrigerator and take away all the excess salt that we have on the skin. Now we're just gonna season the bottom, the meat side, with a Chinese five spice, pepper, garlic, and any other spice that you might enjoy. We are gonna encase the pork belly skin side up into an aluminum basket that we just made here, and we're gonna put it in the oven at 325 degrees for around an hour and a half. We're looking to get around 160 degrees internal temperature. So now let's work on our bao bun. All right, the good part. Let's start with our uh, liquid mixture. We are gonna start with one and a quarter cups of warm water. We want something warm, not too hot, not too cold. Two teaspoons of dry instant yeast, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of the rice vinegar, and two tablespoons of avocado or coconut oil. Then we're gonna move it. For the flour, I'm using two and a half cups of bread flour, half teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of salt. We're gonna mix the dry ingredients together. We're gonna make a little hole on the bowl, put it into the middle of the bowl, and add with a wooden spoon until everything is incorporated. Once it's everything is incorporated, go ahead and move it to the bench and add a little bit of flour. And here is probably the hardest part of the whole recipe is to knead. We need to knead this dough at least, I will say about 10 minutes until smooth. And when you touch it, it bounces back at you. Now we're gonna place it in a bowl, cover it with plastic, and let it rise probably between 40 to 90 minutes. While we're waiting for the dough, let's work on our pickled vegetables. So let's do the carrots. <clears throat> we're gonna slice them thin. Uh, we're gonna slice them like a matchsticks. And then we're gonna do the same with the red onion. The red onion is always good to rinse in cold water just to get that edge flavor off out of the onion. Then we're gonna place them in different containers if that's what you like to keep them for munching on during the week. I'm gonna put them all in the same bowl, but you're welcome to do this in a larger amount and it's always great to have in the refrigerator for anything you're eating. So once we get that done, we are gonna put one cup of water and one cup of rice vinegar in a sauce pot and we're gonna put it on high. We're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar or maple syrup, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of black peppercorns. We're gonna let it come to a boil. Let's make sure the sugar is melted, it's well incorporated. We're gonna turn it off and pour over our vegetables. Then we're gonna let those rest and come to room temperature and those will be perfect for our bao buns or any other things that you'd like to make, any tacos or any other meats that you'd like to garnish with that. Now we check on our pork belly. Once it has reached 165 degrees or about an hour and a half in the oven, we're gonna turn the temperature up to 450 degrees and put it back in the oven for about 20 minutes until the skin is nice and crispy and very toasted. So let's work on our spicy cilantro mayo. I like to make this in a immersion blender. You can do a blender or you can use a food processor. It's one cup of mayo, half a bunch of fresh washed cilantro with the stalks and everything, and then two tablespoons of hot sauce. If you like it a little more spicy, you can add three. I like to use sambal, but you can use sriracha or any hot chili sauce or any hot sauce that you like. And then the juice of one lemon. We're going to put it all in the blender. We're going to blend it until it's nice and smooth. All the cilantro has uh, been chopped and everything seems to be emulsified and really nice. Okay, great. Now we have our pork belly getting crispy in the oven. We have our pickled vegetables done. We have our spicy cilantro mayo done. Now let's work on our dough. 
As you can see, it has double, so let's punch it down and put it in our bench with a little bit of flour. We're gonna knead it for about three or four more minutes, making sure that we get all the air bubbles out. Once we have done that, we are gonna roll it to about an eighth of an inch thick. Now, once we get it to the thickness that we want, we're gonna pour a little bit of our avocado oil on top of it, making sure we get everything, and now we're gonna cut it to our liking. I don't have a cutter with me, so I'm using a glass, and this is a pretty good size. Once I cut all of them, I'm gonna go ahead and fold them with the oil side inside. That is to prevent them from sticking while they are steaming. After that, I'm gonna roll them a little bit to make sure I get any air bubbles out, and I'm gonna let them rise for about half an hour covered before I steam them. After about 30 minutes, I will put them on my steamer and I'm gonna steam them for about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how big and how many you have. Usually they don't take more than 12 minutes, so around 12 minutes, just check them. We want them to be fluffy and smooth and obviously cooked. Now look at that. That is gorgeous. It's fluffy, it feels like a pillow, it's completely cooked, it's smooth, and it's ready for some pork belly. After the pork belly has rested, we are gonna cut it into sizes that fit the bow bun. Wow, look how delicious that looks. So once we cut the pork belly, we're gonna grab one of our pillows or our beautiful steamed bow buns, put the pork belly in with a little bit of the spicy mayo, and then we're gonna top it with the pickled vegetables you can add some more spicy mayo on it and let's get ready to devour this. Wow, if this doesn't look heavenly, I don't know what does. These are beautiful crispy pork belly tacos on steamed bao buns. When you make these at home, you will be the hero for about a week, I guarantee it. Great, so please leave your comment when you make them. Maybe tag me, send a picture, let me see what you've done. And please don't forget to follow me, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter. It's been great doing this with my family. They love it, I love it. I will see you next time on our next recipe. Ciao and God bless.